Now we are all different. Right now you can see, you see, here is the driver, our guys, Lina, Jomart, me. We are four local people and we are so different. And why uh, we are not 100% Muslim? Because 25 is a Christian, 5 is a Buddhism and a different small religions, okay? But mostly 70% we are Muslim. So in the city, uh, in the Kazakhstan, 73 cities. And every city, every small village has a mosque, midget everywhere. So here our Kazakhstan very successful last five years because our president doing a lot of good things for our country his name is Nur Sultan he's 76 years old he is Kazakh so Nur Sultan also very interesting name Nur means like shining how I told before and Sultan means uh, like a president you know very old word so he's uh, like a, was born to be a president so, so he's doing good we are very respect him he's controlling yeah. not controlling he's yeah. a president first president only in Kazakhstan uh, and uh, from when we took independence 1991 from that time every four years our local people they are choosing him around 98 percent why because he's keeping yes why because we adapted to him trust to him a lot because he's uh, keeping good relationship between our neighbor countries between russia kyrgyzstan china uzbekistan and tajikistan you know the, we are central asia so the our neighbor countries they are crossing kazakhstan uh, like uh, transport everything so we are doing good for them and just earning the money from the tax you know so our president, he is very smart too. Also, in this country, he said, I am the father of this all Kazakhstan. And everyone is my child. And every child should understand what I am saying. That's why we have rule that we have to speak in three languages. First, it's a Kazakh language. Kazakh language is similar with Turkish language, you know? Turkish, Kyrgyz, Uzbek, similar. And the second one is Russian language. Okay, Russian is similar with Ukrainian, with Poland language, and third one is English. Now uh, we have rules that we have to speak in three languages. It's nice rule, but in the school, children they are choosing fourth one, like Chinese or French or Spanish, so they can choose in the school. So our population is uh, 18 million, ninth biggest country in the world. So I will tell you one interesting thing. Nine is biggest country in the world. Can you imagine it's a how big the country? And uh, 90 million, it's a net, uh, not enough population for such a huge country. So our government, they are giving money every month for their families who will have uh, more than four children. Wow, yeah, it's good. Yes, so they will help. Yes, they are helping to make a more population. For example, in that family, a lot of children and the father or mother will lose job or something will happen, they will try to find a job for him or give a, a land in the villages to build house or any help. They will check what they need, you know, food, money or the, for the children, free university and everything. So our government, they are doing this because to trying to make a more population. In the villages we have more than five children. For example, I will tell you about my family a little bit. So in my mother's family there is uh, ten, 10 children and my father's is 11, yes. It was before, you know, in the villages can same happen, now a little bit less, like around six, seven is normal. But in the big cities it's like uh, everywhere I guess it's a two, three and one two three four can be big cities because you know big cities astana almaty shumken it's a uh, more expensive everything so but in the villages is okay so our government also they are paying a lot attention to the agriculture it's uh, very popular here too they are paying attention because it's uh, vegetables fruits and meat are always uh, which we need so we can sell to the other countries also and the Kazakhstan is doing good because we have land we have everything water here so the inside of Kazakhstan our economic is also well 
they are all listening to me, you see. <laughs> he is thinking maybe you are sleeping. So, what? Yes, and uh, about the seasons, I want to tell you also one more interesting story. Okay, we have a few minutes. So, winter, here it was a minus 50 in Astana this year. Can you imagine it? Minus 10, minus 20, it's, uh, for me it's fine, minus 20 I can walk. But if, if minus 30, I cannot walk. If your eyes is only open and you are walking fast, it's not possible to stay like this. During the streets, you can see people full of snow. But this city in Almaty was a minus 30, but in Astana, our capital city, central uh, Kazakhstan, was a minus 50. It's the first time in this year. Last time, minus 50 was 70 years ago. So after that, when snow was melting, we found under the snow, you know, this freezed cat, a dog. Yes, it was very, very difficult. That's why Kazakhstan growing up slowly because of very difficult uh, uh, winter and only three months summer to build houses, you know, to build, to make a road, to build buildings. That's why we, our economy growing slowly. So it's uh, uh, sometimes it's uh, very difficult to explain to another country why we are growing up so slowly. We have uh, underground resources are full, gold, diamond, everything is underground. Also to take this, we have to wait till the summer in the only three months job. So every summer here is a lot of job happening in the Kazakhstan. That's why it's a very difficult summer or uh, winter. So also uh, in the winter time, you know, in the villages, so in the central Kazakhstan there is one village. Again about my family story, I will tell you one nice thing. So in the village, it's like, you know, hills, hills around, like a mountain hill. In the village is the down, down level. Like uh, in the winter, yes, when the snow falling, snowfall can be around two meters. Around two meters. And that the village, you will not see the village by helicopter, by far, that there is a village all uh, under uh, snow, yes, houses. So my mother, she said, when she was a child, they uh, were building the door, can open for the inside, the houses, small, small house, because not possible to push it. So she said, I was opening early morning. If it's uh, full of snow, I can close. And I said, no school, and going to sleep again, back to bed. <laughs> because they were waiting when father, brother will clean everything this, okay? So they said one month, like uh, two, three weeks per year, no school, <laughs> they were happy. But it's, uh, you know, it's not also easy life. For children it's okay, fun. But for the adults, you know, they must care about that animals and about everything, the light, gas, everything is there. So also it's uh, sometimes difficult. That time for the school holiday. I cannot hear your voice. That time for the school holiday. Holiday, yes, yes. Good holiday, long <laughs> holiday. Like a beer, you know, the animal beer can sleep all winter. So people who are like that. <laughs> and Shemgulag, we will go up uh, to the mountains on, on the uh, Cape Cable Way. And you will see uh, the metal shrunk you will see our city, you will see beautiful uh, beautiful, beautiful mountains and we will take a picture also walking there, it will be very interesting. You know, they are very clear, uh, you know, the person who lives in the city, who has problems with, with breeze, with blood pressure, they feel in the mountain very good. Because it's very clear climate, very mild climate, and uh, there big quantity of sunny days there. Uh, Mitel on the Shimbulat is the biggest sky resort in the Central Asia. Do you know this? Okay. Then after Shimbulat, we will go to the lunch and uh, after lunch we will go to the green market where you can buy something you want maybe uh, nuts, uh, dried fruit, some souvenirs uh, famous Kazakhstan chocolate, you know?